asking about a lot of questions about prosperity is like I ask them first, what do they have in front of their doorway? And majority of the time, they don't have anything. Let me give you a tip on the different things that you... Blessings and fortune. <laughs> Sagittarius, okay. <laughs> I did your earlier your reading, and then I got disturbed. So I said, I'm going to do it again. I have to redo it again. Welcome to my channel. The first part that you've seen is my other channel where I, um, I'm sharing there how to turn your house, your lovely home, into a magnet of wealth and abundance and prosperity. So you can check it out. I'll put the link in the description box below, okay? It's not new. It's not a new channel. I have it for the longest time, same as this channel, just in case you don't know, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's see. What are the fortunes and blessing coming to the Sagittarius? I did a whole, it's like almost like a five minute read already. For me, that's too much, you know? Relationship don't even last three minutes and I give a five minute, that's beyond, okay? No, I'm saying, I'm serious here. So what I'm seeing for the first week of October, this October one to seven, don't get confused because I already did your other October one to seven that doesn't have an extended reading. I didn't have time, this time I have. Um, you are going to be watching the stars. You're, I feel like you may be invited to an event, first week of October. I uh, see here there are a lot of things that you're viewing. Uh, but this is, I, I don't know, uh, you're a guest, there's a host. It feels like be my guest, be my... Yeah, it's, it's some sort of a red carpet event. Or a very important person is going to be around you, some sort of influencer. Um, I'm seeing here where you're dreaming to be one of, like, I guess, some of those people who are in the limelight, who wants to shine, and I feel like you're getting closer to your dream. Now, if I am referring to the person that you're dating or you're talking, whoever this person is, I feel like you're going to put them in a microscope. Mm -hmm. For me, I put them in a stethoscope. I listen to their heart. Oh, I'm kidding. Because I feel here like you're just trying to understand. It's like, okay, is this person for real? Did they really tell me this? Did they, you know, it feels like your person is just expressing. But then you want to look into it. It's like, what does this person really mean? You're really just trying to figure it out. But I feel like you're either reading between the lines or something like that this first week of October. Now, what are the blessings here? I feel that you're more closely connected to your intuition. And there are certain things that's like you're finally realizing to listen to it. Mm -hmm. You're becoming more intuitive. When I become more intuitive, you're listening and you're following and you're really following it up. Okay? This is what I'm seeing for you. You are an observer for the first week of October. Here we go. You know the, the Sagittarius reading that I did earlier because I had to redo it? There was someone that's about thinking about reconciling. Mm -hmm. Oh, star card at the bottom. Don't forget, 40% discount on our... Lucky coin, if you're having issues with money and you feel like you have, you're have, you never getting you know what you deserve, double PL. Lucky coin, 40% discount. It has helped me. I hope it helps you too. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, you're having issues with money. Five of Pentacles. Money is so easy to attract. It. I, I just have to be honest. It's so easy. I mean, as long as you have a double PO on your left wrist, it's not even a question. It's a vibration. It's a frequency. Everybody's talking about it, and you still don't have it on your left wrist. Especially we ship international, and we ship for free in the U.S. My question is, why don't you have a charm if you're having issues with money? The number one lucky charm that you can have is a baby, though. But... It's easier to have a double piao than a baby. In uh, astrology, the fifth house is what we call uh, Purva Punya. So, children's are a blessing. No, I'm not trying to take your children. <laughs> Give me a child. No, it's not like that. Okay. Did that in a past life, and I'm done. I'm still here. How many children? I was the Pied Piper. Okay. Now, I do a different Pied Piper. <laughs> it's late night. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, five pen. Oh, yeah, this look like Pied Piper over here. You're feeling lost right now. No, no kidding aside. You gotta work with citrine. You gotta work with obsidian. You gotta work with gold. It's that easy. Yeah, it is. I mean, if you if you raise your vibration, the same frequency of the crystal, then how can you not attract? Not unless you're lazy. If you're lazy, that's a different story. There's no crystal that is gonna be working with you. Okay. <laughs> 
Now there is the anti-lazy crystal. It's called your mama. Your mama, we're gonna call you. Mm -hmm. Get up. Five of Wands with the Page of Swords over here. The Sag feels like everything is just a conflict right now. Like everybody's just against you. Do you think so? Five of Wands here with the Page of Swords. If you feel attacked right now, well, I feel like there are people. You got haters though, to be honest. Five of Wands with the Page of Swords. Some people hate you. Why? Younger person can be. I feel like it's a work environment. Double P out that person. Whoever hates you, when you're talking in that boardroom, Mm -hmm. Look at them in the eye and then just, hi, Susie, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. you just do that. Keep rubbing that pee out and then <laughs> goodbye. Next day, Susie's gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five of ones with a page of swords. No, because she, she got promoted. She got promoted though. Um, to the basement. Page of swords here with the five of ones. Someone is gossiping about you. First week of October, one to seven. Now you still love the person. You have their, oh, you got... With, with love, I feel like you don't have a problem. October 1 to 7. Ten of Cups, King of Cups, with the Two of Cups. No problem at all. Mm -mm. So love is the least of your worries? Did you tune into the right channel, the right zodiac? You have here the Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, with the King of Cups. Love is not a problem. Or should we reverse it? Sal, can you just reverse it? Can I have the money and let the love be the problem at least? Two of Cups, here with the Ten of Cups. It feels like you have a good life with regards to your family, your friends. It's just a money problem. You can just buy a piao. That's what I'd say. <laughs> the Two of Cups here is like, your person loves you a lot. First week of June, I wear my piao. My business doubled the store, our e-commerce. It was like overnight. And I said, I'm going to share this secret. We started making it. And then people started to give me their feedback and how it has helped them. Now is your chance to manifest your dreams. Use this PL available at our website, eatreadlove.me. Don't you want that? Kia Cups can be a Scorpio. No, I don't want that, Sal. No, Ten of Cups right here. They already told you that they love you. So I'm missing the picture here. What's the problem, Sag? Let's go to your person. What's the problem? Mm. Let's see. Being watched heavily. Ooh, yeah. Someone's doing some magic, High Priestess. This is the reason why I don't like reading at, at, at night. <laughs> Ooh, High Priestess with a Ten of Pentacles. Someone's manifesting you. With a Wheel of Fortune, they get a lot of money. Let them manifest me, Sal. Ask them to call my name in their dream. <laughs> they got money. Is this, is this something I'm seeing here? You're in love with someone. They got a lot of money. You have problems with money. Match made in heaven. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles High Priest is over here. I see that you found a solution. It's not the Piao cell. It's called marrying someone who has more than your Piao. <laughs> High Priest, but this person is very secretive. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is. They do feel the connection with you, with a fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. I see here also with the High Priestess. Um, they can be very, very discreet with their intention. Okay. It's giving, uh, oh, okay. Aquarius vibes, Pisces, another Sag. Can be an attorney, a lawyer, someone who has a lot of degrees or studies abroad, like to master something. Because the King of Swords, that person is well read. Okay, this has diplomas on top of diplomas. Like this person little certificate posted in their whatever wall. Okay, like this person is is good. Four of Swords with a Ten of Pentacles with a Wheel of Fortune, highly educated, yes, but has some issues with regards to intimacy. Oh, okay, I see that. So you stop talking to this person because they stop being intimate with you. Is that is that how it works, Edge? Because I'm seeing here with the Four of Swords and a High Priestess, this is no contact together with your Five of Pentacles. And then you had an argument with them because you don't understand why you guys not talking when everything should be good. Ooh, I see the problem. We have a case here. But I feel like I, I won't be able to help you. You would need a psychic a medium. I'm a psychic large because your person has ghosted you. I cannot channel the ghost. Not unless you have an American Express. I can really channel it for you. Just swipe the card. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't. This is a person who ghosted you. Mm. 
everything is good. No, I oh I've been there. <laughs> everything is good and you still get ghosted. Ooh, I I've been there. Been there. Mm-mm. Hangman. Because they claim that it's just a karma thing. Oh, okay. For me, I have no problem. My family loves me. I have all the money in the world and I I'm good looking. No, I don't care whoever goes to me. I'm kidding. <laughs> the only thing that's true there is I have a lot of money. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, my family. My family has a lot of money. I'm <laughs> kidding. King of Swords with a hangman. Your person was stay was telling you like they're stuck. They don't know what to do. And they feel that like it's not the time for them. And they would need to think of the situation and they're not sure whether they can compromise and hush if you're upset that I mumble jumble over here you know already what you're getting yourself into it's a no contact you don't know if they're gonna reach out to you plain and simple Turo is very direct we're not looking at here trying to get people to Mars okay this is not like the relationship is a matter of bringing people to a different you know planet you're stuck with a person. You're with your soulmate. Hangman with the Two of Cups. The two of you don't know what's going on between each other because you guys refuse to communicate. Plain and simple. Mm. Now, of course, I'm going to focus on the extended if this whole no contact and no communication. Oh, I see. Well, someone needs to be honest first because someone is not being honest. And okay, that's... Well, that's... Mm -mm. Find out more, link in the comments. I'll see you down there.